All right, well, this video, of course, is about fairy horn. No, that's not what the video is about. This video is pretty much about catching the bull reds. Everybody does a video on the bull reds. I've got, I don't know how many of them. But I'm going to break this up with showing you my average rig. I don't use nothing fancy. You don't need nothing fancy. I use this. This is the same thing I use for a lot of things. I use my Shimano Star Drag Level Wine Graphite uh, Shimano Triton TR100G. I use an Ugly Stick Tiger Rod, which is a uh, what is it? A uh, medium light uh, 12 to 30 pound test type rod it's the newer versions with the ugly tough guides and then of course when it comes to rigging that's sort of the important part I guess it's no different than any of the other bottom fishing I do I just up my leader material I'm using the Jetty Wolf proprietary strong arm rig Hopefully you can see that against my shirt. I've got an entire video of how to make these. So uh, right here, it's a dual lock snap. Woo, look at the fairies having to go around that ship. That fairy pulled out, and here comes that ship. You don't see that very often. So you got a dual lock snap. This is my proprietary Jetty Wolf strong arm rig made out of Mason hard type nylon 80. Down here, after this swivel right here, everything's sacrificial. And this is a 50 pound liter of, what is it? Uh, Zebco Red Cajun line, 50 pound. I don't know, I like it cheap it works and then I use a true turn you can see that's a true turn it's got the little jog in the hook shank that's a true turn four on I like them because they don't rust up or anything and they're they're same thing as a VMC they got a perma steel finish so that's it easily change out the sinker I get people of course asking me will I make these for them and send them to them and they'll buy them off of me no I don't make people's tackle I'm not in the tackle business I'm in the tackle business for myself huh. I'm looking over there and there's some vultures buzzards picking at a fish and they're chasing each other around in the parking lot ha! they look like chickens running around so uh, got four guys today and this is the rig we're going to use and I got a lot of blue crab I've got frozen pogies and I have got giant shrimp let me show you something that I bought off of Amazon just for cutting big baits you know I'm big into toolage and uh, I got me a 7 inch cleaver for chopping on my cutting board back there and it makes good, it's really good for popping crabs in half. And then I picked this up, which was a Dexter Russell. Uh, it's not made by them. It's made by Firestone. It says Firestone on the side. And this is a pull-through sharpener that is double ceramic stones. You've got coarse here and you've got fine here. 
very difficult to find the sharpener. I don't want to pull through sharpener that is that carbide. Oh, here we go. Big wakes and the docks flopping around. Welcome to the jungle. Where the wakes kill the docks. Smashing your boat. And the current is so strong. Welcome to the St. John's River. Sometimes it's pure hell. <laughs> so, um, this is a pull through. Like this. All you do is, you know, take the edge and then you run it through the fine stones. But what I had to do is oil it with mineral oil because these, these stones were way, way, way too dry. I don't like those carbide sharpeners. Ceramic is much easier on your blade. So, that's all you do, just to keep your edge. And this will cut paper. It's that sharp. So I got this for popping crabs and stuff in half. So these guys ought to be down here relatively soon, and we're going to be taking off. All right, potential customers, during the fall season, I want you to take note. There's hardly anybody around. I got one boat over here, a couple boats have left, up here in the parking lot. It's relatively empty. Yeah, if you want to do it right, go on a Monday or Tuesday. Mondays or Tuesdays. I've even got a special running, but you'll have to find it for nothing but Mondays and Tuesdays. I do that a lot, and then nobody sees it, so nobody ever gets the special for Mondays and Tuesdays. Hopefully this is a double header of them. Double header. Another one, blue crab.
flush of water over his gills. Yep. Yeah. So he takes off. Got a little video going. Okay. Cushion going on. All right, we had we we had one on before and it broke us off. Snapped the leader right in half. Double header. You want this one? He, no, he just came off. He just came off. Just came off. Had a double header. Okay, you're really gonna, that one's way out there, so you're gonna have to get on him. Oh man. Trying to keep an eye on you. All right, we're finally getting them to the boat. Finally getting them to the boat. Finally. Finally. Here he comes. All right. I see. Oh, right here. Right here. Oh man, he's barely got the hook in his mouth. Okay, I'm. Not, I don't want to hold him. You just hold him right iron there. Finally! Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's in the 20, probably. Get another one. Go ahead, the pump out. All right, we got on another. Got on another. Hang on. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> this this is a lot of reeling. I missed I missed getting the last one on video. now she's figured out her own technique it's taken a little bit but we got she's got her own technique then you know, she's doing it with her arm and i taught her to put the put the thumb on the spool just to give her a little extra drag <laughs> all right this is unbelievable this is the fool of bull tournament day also it's you can't see because of course gopros that i own don't have zoom Everybody's catching them, and everybody is around all over the place. There's people everywhere. I actually, this almost seems to me like it's salmon fishing in Washington. You see them all across the river, and then when <clears throat> like a barge comes, all these boats have to pull their anchors and move the hell out of the way, and as soon as the barge goes by, they all move right back. Look what almost ran us over. <laughs> Going right between all the boats fishing. Every year, same story. Yeah. They do that up in uh, the Pacific Northwest. We got everything from the uh, penis extender boat out here to like little boats. And it was even some guys in jet skis drifting alongside of us here. Boats, boats, boats everywhere. Catching Brutus T. Oh yeah. All right, good fight, good fight. Savor to flavor. <laughs> Definitely not wearing the out as much now that no. I figured out. That. Now you got to figure it out. Yep. All right, here's my Camp Zero, all nice and dirty. Got a little tiny cooler. Got my crabs in there, and I put this chunk of ice in there last night. And look at that, there is hardly any water in there. So it seems to be working. And even though I'm opening it, not all the time. But I'm hoping it enough. It's doing its job. And then I got this. 
this, I'll show you why. You want to be, this is the reason why I got a cleat, a Dexter Russell. So when I pop their lid, I can do that, and then I can do that, and that. So much yeah. easier. Pull them up too quick. I gotta get my net out. <laughs> Is he up under the boat? Yeah. Hey, he might have you over here. No, I think he's got a separate fish. We got double header on him. Double header. Double header. Stay tight on him. Stay tight on him. <laughs> double header. Double header on mullet. I only got four mullet. Whoa! Who let them dogs out? How we doing? Okay, yeah, yeah, just butter him. Let, let him do his thing out there. We got... Oh, let's see. He's probably not going to be a keeper. He's fighting too hard. What is it? Redfish, redfish. Come here, buddy. Ah, oh, here we go. How about that? How about that? Man. Oh, it's a good orange one, too. Oh, look at this one. You got one? All right, there. Oh, it's a red fish. It's a red fish. All right, double header time. Nice. Okay, we're gonna take a picture of you guys both, both holding them. Woo! <laughs> He's all over the place, isn't he? Yep, side. we got twins here, folks. He's got, he's got three spots on him. We got twins. Look at that. Oh, man, he done swallowed it, so I'm just going to let him have oh. it. I'm going to let him have it. Must, must have let him. All right, come on back here. Let me grab my uh, booger grip thing. You can hold them. So these aren't capers. Huh? Nah, they're gonna be too big. They're just over. Alrighty folks, look at this. Double headers. <laughs> twins. Two brothers catching twins. Twin twin reds. Twin, twin redfish. Red nice. Alright. So nice. let me get a picture. Hold on to them a second. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I 